The other day, my wife, Barbara, she's a psychiatrist, had a bit of a crisis, you see, at work. The receptionist couldn't turn up, you see, and they couldn't get a replacement. And as I was, uh, you know, at a loose end that day, you see, she phoned me and said, Hugo, I said, what? I said, you've got to come into work, you know, to my private practice and be receptionist for the day because we can't find anybody else. I said, are you really that desperate? She said, yes, I am. So get over here, quick. So I drove over there, you know, and I got orientated as to who was who. Because there's more than one doctor, you see. There's different consulting rooms in the building, you know. And I was like, you know, the face of it. Very important. Anyway, so I'm sat there, you know. And the first chap arrives. And he said, uh, who are you? I said, I'm a receptionist. I'm, uh, you know, Dr. Banana Stash's husband, actually. He said, right. He said, I need your wife to fix my arras. And I said, no, 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 no. The colorectal surgeon is he's round the corner. Dr. Fingers. He said, no, 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 no. Aris is my son's name. And he was out this sort of shuffling teenager behind him, you know. And I said, oh, I see. It's Aris, is he? He said, yes. I said, uh, what's his surname? He said, Stottle. Right. I said, deep is he? He said, yes, he's a great thinker. I said, does he know Socrates? He said, no, he doesn't like football. I said, please take a seat. And I sat down. And they went in. And, uh... Anyway, a little while later, a chap comes in dressed in green, you know, carrying a longbow. Oh, blimey. It's bonkers. Well, I suppose he would be, really. Anyway, I said, hello, sir. Oh, can I help you? He said, yes, I need to see Dr. Banana Stash. I said, you're fine, fine. What's your name? He said, Nud. I said, I'm sorry. He said, Nud. N-U-double-D. Nud. I said, all right, thank you. What's your first name? He said, Robbie. I said, uh, I said, you well? Nice damn forest, is it? He said, yes, very lovely. He said, yes. He said, how's your fat friend? He said, well, he's, he's clinically obese, you know. He's developing type 2 diabetes. So that's a shame. What about the tall fella? I said, oh, he's all right. Osteoarthritis, really, you know. It's not very good. I said, this is a shame, isn't it? Doesn't sound very merry to me. He said, no, he's desperate. I said, please take a seat. She will see you soon. And he sat down and, I don't know, contemplating archery or something. Anyway. The next person came in, she was very aggressive. She said, I need to see the, the psychiatrist. I said, it's all right, yes or no, Dr. Bernalstash is my wife. And she said, are you bonkers? And I said, what we do in our spare time is entirely between the two of us. Please take a seat. And she did. And she fidgeted and was very agitated and looked like she was going to punch somebody. Anyway, eventually she went, she saw Baba and left. Whew. Anyway. Towards the end of the afternoon, a delightful young lady walked in with, with a friend of hers. And she came up to the desk, she said, Hello, I, I'm here to see Dr. Banana Stash. I said, Well, she's my wife, you know. I'm her husband. She said, Oh, that's nice. I said, Yeah. I said, um, I said uh, What's your name? She said, Nuff. <coughs> Nuff? She said, Nuff. And you double F, Nuff. I said, Right. And uh, what do you do? She said, I'm a fairy. I said, ah, oh, fair enough. She said, yes. I said, right, who's your friend? She said, that's liquid. Right, okay. I said, um, right, you, you seem to be very, very nice young ladies. Um, why are you here? She said, well, we're here. We were sent by our probation officer, you see. He made us come. I said, why are you on probation? She said, we were done for trespass. We were hanging around the bottom of people's gardens, you see, which we like, you know. And I said, well, that's not, that's not bad, is it? She said, I didn't think so. I said, there's a very, there's very nice grounds around the, you know, around this building, actually. You, you, you know, if we cared to go, you know, we could have a little wander around there. You know, because my wife, she can't see for 20 minutes. She's got something she's going to be with for a while, she said. So, 
So that's, that's nice. So my little wonder you see in the grounds, you know. And it, you know, and it was lovely, and it was a nice day. And they were very charming, these two fairies, you know. And I said, it's ironic, really. My wife often accuses me of being away with you. And here I am. They missed their appointment. I got sad. My friend Nobby, Nobby Nebula, not his real name, has taken up a martial art. Now, when I say the words martial arts, you see, you might think, oh, yes, Kung Fu, or uh, Karate, or Judo, you know, one of the standard ones, but not Nobby Nebula, no, no. He's gone for the most obscure martial art he could find, you see. So he's taken up the noble Japanese art of Chumpy Hampa. Now, Chumpy Hampa, those of you not in the know, is the art of rhymed argument, you see, along with uh, certain physical movements that uh, emphasize the strength of your argument, you see. Anyway, so he dragged me along the other week. And then all these people there in these white suits, you know, with belts on, giving it some, you know. And they're all warming up. Anyway. There's a grey-haired woman near us, you know, warming up. She's, and she said, huh. Brexit is great. Don't be late. Huh. I did it for you. It's red, white and blue. Huh. <coughs> Excuse me. I said to Nobby, I said, That woman's bonkers. That isn't argument. That's just empty rhetoric. It's nonsense. He said, yes, but don't upset her. I said, why not? He said, she's the Prime Minister. Anyway, so he started, you have to do these drills, you have to work through these drills, you know, while you're doing your chumpy hamper. Oh, right. So we did this drill, you see, in a group, and it was lined up, you know, and we step forward and say this stuff, and then do moves. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, right. So, we did this. <clears throat> you smell of poo, you do. <clears throat> your nuts are green. I've seen. <coughs> Your parents smell as well. <coughs> and I said to Nobby, I said, this isn't, this isn't argument. This is abuse. Argument has a logical development. This, 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 this is not, this is just abusive. This is nonsense. Anyway, the trainer came up to me and said, look, Facey, don't you come in here with your big words telling us what to do. I said, look, if you need to know what argument is, you should look at that Monty Python sketch, you know, where they, they come in and they have an argument, and he just gainsays him. Because that wasn't an argument either, you see. You need to know what argument is. And he threw me out. So I went to the pub. <laughs>